What up, Heart Squad? Welcome to another massive vintage Pokemon cards opening. And I got lots. Today, we will be opening up several first edition Team Rocket packs. Not just in search for another first edition Dark Charizard, because last week we pulled one. But of course, that Air Dragonite card, which has eluded us to this day. But wait. You want more Charizard? Well, you got some Gym Challenge Booster Packs. But this time, we are still searching for that corrected version of the Blaine's Charizard card that I believe was printed in the following packs. But pulling it is the big issue. You like Jungle Safaris? Well, we got some Jungle Packs. And yet again, we will be searching for a special type of air jungle card, but more on that to come. Last but not least, basically you like Charizard again, I got some base set two packs here, and I honestly don't know if there's any airs or any type of misprints for these specific packs, but that's what's on par for today's opening. I know it's the middle of the week. I know vintage cards are going for insane prices right now, and these are all for my personal collection, and I'm opening it up for your enjoyment. Am I crazy? Yes. But do I love Pokemon cards and am I passionate about opening them up for thousands of y'all? abso positive -loop -loop Pretty sure that wasn't a word. But let's get into the first pack. But before we do begin, I have to simply say, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And if we can get this video to 20,000 likes, I would appreciate the support as always. Y'all have been absolutely doing an amazing job at showing up to my videos four times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday, and Sundays, 1 p.m. Central, 2 Eastern, and 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Pacific Time, 12 is for the Mountaineers out there. So, we have a first edition pack. These are the same packs from the box that I opened up last week where we pulled a first edition Dark Charizard. Of course, I wanna pull Blastoise, Dragonite. We did not pull those in hollow form, even though we did in non-hollow form. And then of course, that Air Dragonite card, which you will notice it is a Dragonite, non-holographic, but the number on the bottom right is five out of 82, as opposed to 11 out of 82. Because five out of 82, is the hollow form. But since it's an air, it would be non-hollow, so you know what I mean. But here we go, here we go. Three cards and away we go. First card is that Saturday and Sunday's video are gonna be game changer videos, please. And I'm talking about maybe a certain reveal of a certain lost card, yeah? Get ready, it's gonna be big this Saturday and Sunday. Ratata, Grimer, Eevee, Oddish, Zubat, and a Dark Dug Trio holographic card. So this is one of the more least valuable cards, but as a kid, I always enjoyed pulling this one because I, I, I actually believed there would be a Dark Dug Trio popping through the floor of my bedroom. But taking a look, centering looks very, very nice. Um, that brushed off, thank you. A little bit of whitening at the top left. Otherwise, no whitening or anything down there. So very, very nice pull. Let's put this in the champion's path sleeves. And first pull of the day was a doozy. Next up is gym challenge. One of my favorite sets of all time, and no, not just because of that Blaine's Charizard, which I'm hoping is not only pulled today, but the corrected version, because there is an air version, which you may likely have, where the energy of the Charizard is a fighting energy instead of a fire energy, but in later print runs, very rare, but they corrected it where they changed the fighting energy to a fire energy for that Blaine's Charizard. That is what I'm hoping to pull from the following, was it five packs? Now these aren't first edition, frankly, because I haven't opened up a box of those yet, but I probably will in the future because I'm a crazy. Look at that Windows 95 graphics, Viridian City Gym. 
Koga's Weizing. Brock's Vulpix. Kind of trapping yourself in there, okay. Brock's Diglett. Koga's Zubat. Why, by the way, why I think these are the later print run cards, it's just they're more crisp, they're more sharp, they're more bright and vibrant, which is usually common with those older sets. Erica's Pettis. Voltorb. G. Geodude. Energy. And a Giovanni's Pinzer. Well, you gotta pull a holo before it can be the Blaine's Charizard, and this is not one. But it is very nostalgic, pulling a G. Giovanni's Pinzer in the forest. Now we are stepping into the jungle with some long stem jungle packs. If this is if this doesn't make you think about the olden days and going into whatever it be, KB Toys, Toys R Us, Blockbuster, stores across the world that I just obviously not familiar with, had these hanging up on the shelves and or they arrived in boxes and then they would hang them up that shelves or put them in their own types of boxes but for the most part they were hanging on the shelves long stem packs i'm searching for something called a no uh what is it called now i'm complete. no stamp air holographic card now they were in the earlier print runs of jungle where basically the holographic instead of having that little this thing little leaf pad thing lily pad uh, on the right side of the card, it's gone because it was not printed on the cards, hence an air card. They're not too, too crazy rare, but I think I've never pulled one and pulling one is really, really difficult to do. So let's go, let's go. And also pull a Jolteon is the number one card that, you know, you want to pull from this set. Unless you have like a super, super favorite card that you don't really care. I mean, and then of course, all the evolutions are very nice too. Not just Jolteon, Vaporeon and Flareon. Marowak! Dodrio. Lickitung. Pettis. And oh, and by the way, the regular commons and uncommons would have the lily pads still. It was just the holographics that didn't have the symbol. Jiggly! Eevee! Nidoran! Spiro! Pidgeot non-holographic. Well, it doesn't matter with this one because it's a non-holo. Look at that. That is in flawless condition. Wow. I'm happy about that. Moving on. Base set two. Recently opened up an entire base set two booster box on the channel two weeks ago. Front page of the channel. Uh, we pulled some really nice cards in that opening and they're all part of my charity that I'm currently doing for mental health awareness. I'm going like this because this was also a long stem pack. Very nice, very cool, and it's very awesome with the Mewtwo artwork, the nostalgic artwork. But of course you wanna get those big three, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. Still have not pulled the Charizard, but a Blastoise and Venusaur has been pulled from these packs. So hoping we get lucky today with not just Charizard, but any old holographic. RK9! I always thought as a kid, by the way, that the two was for second edition, not for base set two. But, just a kid, what can I say? Abra! <clears throat> I'm choking on my emotions now. Meowth, or some spit in my throat. Energy! Energy! Right to holographic. We'll talk about things I was not expecting. Uh, centering looks a little off from left to right, but not by too too much. Taking a look at everybody, lend me your energy and eyes. More specifically, the eyes. Uh, is there a print line? I believe there may be a print line right there, maybe, but in any case, I'm very happy a Raichu. Centering looks fantastic on the back. Maybe some whitenings on the left right there, which I may have just exacerbated there, so that's not that good. All right, so there we go. Second holographic of the day. That's only the second one. Uh, but now we're back at the main event once again. First edition Team Rocket Pack. All of the stuff that I said earlier. Remember what I said. The Dragonite. The Charizard. The Blastoise. The Dra- Did I say Dragonite? Whatever I said. Just, I'm not supposed to say it again because I said remember it from earlier. Full Heal Mel Metal Alchemist. Dark Charmillionaire. Machoke. Coughing. Meowth. Oddish. Psyduck. 
Slowpoke. <clears throat> Voltorb. Very nice. We have to stop and appreciate Leonhardt's favorite Squirtle card of all time. Really, it is. I traded lots of hollows for this card back in the day. And a Dark Dragonite Holographic flying in to save the day. Oh my goodness. Look at that beauty. Centering looks fantastic. And honey, I think we done it. Look at that. A flawless card and will be featured in a guess that grade coming up likely this week. Wait, play. Oh, wait, I forgot. There may be print lines. Just because the others' hollows may have had some. Wait, is there? No. Look at that. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, Leonard had no nachos before this opening. We good to go. Look at that Death Star in the background. Look at that. Probably the Death Star too. It's a little bit bigger than the first one. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is this is the second best card from this set. It's better than the Blastoise, even though I like the Blastoise better. But it's value-wise, this is the second best card from the set. And we pulled it. This is this has been a good box. This has been a good box. I'm selling Mickey Mouse there. Well then, you want to see the good stuff we've pulled so far. Well, frankly, it wasn't good until we pulled the Dark Dragonite. But it's been a very nice smorgasbord, my favorite words of cards, and we have lots of packs to go. Simple reminder, please do leave a like. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes. It really does help the video out. And I appreciate y'all watching the videos. Big videos coming this week. I mean, this is a big video. First edition packs. Gym challenge. Here we go. Erica's Ivy Sword. That's a nice card. I don't see a Pokemon in it since it's Camouflage, Wink, Master Ball, or War Wario's, it's Wario's uh, Pokeball. Sabrina's Abra. There's been lots of Pokemon just sitting by a tree after the buffets throughout the years. Giovanni's Magikarp, Koga's Tangula Salon, Misty's Psyduck, Blaine's Rhyhorn, Sabrina, lots of Psyducks are just confused. Energy and Erica's kindness is the non-holographic rare. I was like, is this a rare? But I always liked this as a kid. I mean, it's Erica, she's cool. Nice and oddish umbrella. And of course, Growlithe, she's protecting him from the rain, even though he's technically already wet there. So, all right. Nose goes with that specific pack, but now we're on to my one of my favorite pack arts of all time for the whole Pokemon TCG. Scyther. Scyther. What can I say? What more can I say about the Scyther? He's a beautiful. I, I technically just like the green and the fact that I like the movie Edward Scissorhands as a kid and he absolutely reminds me of it. All right, let's see what we can do in this jungle pack. Maybe get lucky. Probably not, but hey, what do you know? We got lucky with the Dark Dragonite. Here we go, Dodrio. Weep. Has Weepin' Bell always had a bird on top of his head? Okay, I'm gonna be doing this in post editing, but I don't remember Weepin' Bell having a bird on his head. Or I just really haven't been paying attention to opening up a Weepin' Bell card in a while. That's a special card. I'm setting that to the side. I, I really, it's probably been there the whole time. It's just camouflage, just like the Ivysaur. Pikachu, Bellsprout, Rhyhorn, Jiggly, Nidoran, and a Nitto Queen non-holographic. All right, taking a look. I mean, the centering and everything has been very, very nice today, so I can't complain. All right, so we have Pidgeot pack art. Base set two pack arts from Wizards of the Coast. What more can we say about how underrated the set has become? I've always, I've always enjoyed base set two. I don't know about y'all, but I have. Radicate, okay, maybe not as much as I do now, but Radicate two, but it's a t Machoke, Venonat, Bill, Bulbasaur, always nice to pull one of those starters. Cubone, Doduo, 
It's gonna be worth $30,000 by Christmas, by the way. Energy! Energy! And a magneton holograph! It's the, it's the electric parade today. Once again, centering is a tad off from top and left to right. Uh, print lines wise, let's see. Uh, we see anything, ladies and gentlemen? I don't. So that's better than the Raichu. And uh, yep, centering just a tad off and maybe a little whitening at the top up there. So not too bad. Base set two hollows haven't gotten too high up there in price just yet. But what can I say? Pulling these hollows, that's what it's about. Passionate about pulling them because it is just fun and especially with y'all. All right, lots of packs to go in this first edition Pokemon cards opening. We are back to first edition Team Rocket. Can I get a yeah? Didn't want to say the first part, you know, for monetization reasons, so we'll just go with that. Dark Flareon, very nice. Imposter Oaks Revenge, Dark Gloom, Meowth, Goop, Zubat, Eevee, Grimer, Oddish, Psyduck, and a Here Comes Team Rocket holographic card. So it is taking a look, just very minor hollow on this one. But it's there, it's there. All right, so perfect centering for the front and centering maybe a tad off from right and bottom to left, which is very rare for that to happen. Uh, but obviously not really much room for any print lines or anything or scratches. So uh, very nice card. It is a trainer card, but it's a hollow first edition nonetheless. Putting that in the pile and moving on to Blaine's. This is it. This is it, where we take our stand, or basically, Leon, Leon Hart's putting in his call of the day. I'm gonna say a first edition Blaine's Charizard will not be pulled from this pack because this pack is not a first edition pack. But what I can say is a unlimited Blaine's Charizard. Here, we, my voice is already gone from the pull so far today. What is he doing? It's up to no good. False charity. I see you, Meowth. Brock's Graveler. Koga's Ninja Trick. Misty's Poliwag. I like the artwork for that one. Blaine's Manky Leg. Sabrina's Porygon. Giovanni's Machop. Koga's Pidgey. Erica's Jiggly. Puff. Energy! Fail! Giovanni! Giovanni's Persian! <laughs> It's gone. My voice is gone. Oh, what a beautiful card. What an absolute stunner of a card. I don't see any swirls, which is kind of unfortunate for how much hollow foil is in the card, but getting a closer look. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. And I'm talking about the Persian and the hollow foil too. Centering's off just a tad bit from upper right there to that way. Best directions ever from Leonhardt. <laughs> Geography t-shirt. All right, that, that didn't really make sense, did it? All right, so very nice. Hollow foil for that one. Uh, more packs to go. I just want to catch you on to uh, the hollows that have been pulled. Uh, overall, and that's the first edition one. Magneton. Best pull of the day. Yeah, Raichu. Dark Doug Trio. All right, let me show you all the packs that we have left just because uh, we do have quite a bit. So this many packs left, I'm putting this over here. And, uh, wait, wait, what's that? Oh, okay, so we're, we're going to jungle, ladies and gentlemen. This is 1.1 million subscribers messes up here. All right, professionalism. Actually, it doesn't really mess up. I just, I like moving things at a brisk pace. So there's not much lull in between the opening, not much talking. Basically, and I really don't want to talk at the moment, so we will open this pack up with myself, with minimal talk. Okay, I've basically been talking this whole time. Pokeball, Rhyhorn, Jiggly, Oddish, Cubone, Meowth, and a Wiggly, non-holographic. I have been pulling this one a lot. That looks like it's in a box or something. Can y'all take a, like, is that just me? Like right here to here, 
Looks like they just like superimposed the non PMG image onto the background. Uh, but there we go. So a wiggly has been pulled from uh, that one. That was jungle. Leonhart put it in the right pile. Then we have our final. That was our final jungle pack. Now we have our final uh, Gyarados base set two pack art. One of my favorites from base set two pack art wise. I'm always fluctuating between the Mewtwo and the Gyarados. Three cards, last chance to pull a Charizard from a base set two pack for today's opening. Poliwhirl, Energy, Spiro, Starmie, Potion. Very nice Squirtle card. Diglett, Energy, Energy. Oh. You could remove those. That's appropriate super energy removal. Non-holographic trainer. You can't strike gold in every pack, but we can potentially in this pack. Dragonite, first edition, pulled. Charizard, pulled. Blastoise or the Air Dragonite, which would be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. Let's hope we can say pulled after this. Dark Charmillionaire, Magikarp, Rapidash, Mankey, Machop, Radicate, Slowpoke, Squirtle. How you doing? Voltor. You're nervous. I'm not nervous. Sleep and Dark Vile Plume with a big swirl on the card. I will take it. I know it's not the most valuable one, but it does have a swirl. Look at that. Can I get another swirl? Nope. Only one for Dark Vile Plume. Centering is a tad off from right to left and bottom. Uh, other, but it's not too bad. It's actually better on the back, centering wise. Not too bad. Not too bad. A little whitening on there. You know, brush that off with the old finger. All right. Dark Vile Plume First Edition Hollow has been pulled. Put this bulk over here and let's move on to the second to last gym challenge pack. Now, I got my call of the day wrong. No, it wasn't the first edition Blaine's Charizard. It was the unlimited that I had called. And y'all at home, feel free to put your calls in. Not many chances left. War Luigi's Master Ball. Blaine's quiz too. The jacket is off. He's ready to quiz. Koga's Golbat, World's Happiest Kafifis, Misty's Poliwag, Blaine's Manky Leg, Sabrina's Porygon, Machat, Pidgey, Giovanni's Last Resort, only rated four stars on orbeats.com. Giovanni's Last Resort. It's a nice card. It's a nice card. I always liked it with the Nitto King in the background and he's all menacing looking, Ash's dad, uh, but we'll take it. So even though it's not non-holographic. Well then, we're down to the final two packs. Obviously, I'm going to open this one up now. This will be the last one. Gee! Giovanni's reaching, he's reaching for the like button right now. All right, so. Last chance to get uh, another holo from Jim Challenge. Let's see what we can do. Three cards and away we go. It's Blaine's quiz number three. The jacket's back on. He's uh, he's pissed off now. Saffron City Jim. Wanna at least give you time to revel over this Mary Poppins Sabrina's Haunter. Rhyhorn. Happy Halloween. Psyduck. Ratata. Weedle. Celio. Sonic the Hedgehog, Warp Point, Energy, whoops, Brock's Protection, I was like, there goes PSA 10, uh, non-holographic trainer, that is okay, kind of, marginally, but that's okay, Brock's Protection, he protect, he attack, not really, um, let's begin and end the final pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Once again, please consider subscribing to the channel. Charizard reveal, likely this weekend. Big stuff coming up this weekend, just get ready.
just to get them ready. But we have this final pack. Dark Charmillionaire. Dragonair. Boss's Way. Lady Gaga loves that card. Mankey. Machop. Radicate. Slowpoke. Squirtle. Very nice. I like it. It's like almost every pack. Voltorb. Sleep. And a Dark Machamp holographic for some little bit last pack magic. Let's take a look at that. Centering looks fantastic for this one. Well then, fantastic centering. Maybe a little whitening at the top left. Otherwise, maybe some down there, but nothing too, too crazy. A beautiful Dark Machamp. Not sure if I see any print lines on it, so that's not too bad. Put that in a sleeve immediately, and there we go. All right, Heart Squad, big, big day, but more bigger videos to come. In the meantime, click on those right now. My name is Lean Heart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I will see y'all in the next video.